Let's add a custom effect to our Minecraft mod. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. Alright, we found some back and tell one more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom effect to our Minecraft mod over here. So that's going to be very interesting indeed. So in this case, in a custom effect, of course, what we're going to need is some new Java classes. So in our tutorial mod package, we're going to right click new package called effect. And inside of there, two new Java classes. The first one is going to be the mod effects class. And the second one is actually the implementation of this effect. So this is going to be the slimy effect. Now, of course, what's quite important here is that if you have a specific effect that you're thinking of adding, then of course, when it comes to the functionality, you'll need to figure out how that works. I'm going to show you in a bit all of the vanilla functionality that you can take a look at and things like that. However, of course, in this case, this is one example, right? One example that we're adding over here. And of course, you'll figure out or I'll show you how you register the effects so that everything is going to work. And there we go. One thing about the slimy effect is quite important that some of this code comes from same different over here from their trick or treat GitHub repository distributed under the MIT license. Very important. That is basically uh, they helped me a little bit with this effect. So keep that in mind. Also, this will extends from the mob effect class, not mob effects, mob effect over here in this case. We're going to hover over this, create constructor matching super, choosing the first one over here, making sure we make this public as well. There we go. And then what we want to do is we wanted to overwrite two methods here. We want to overwrite the apply, the apply effect tick method as well as the, and this is crazy, should apply effect tick this tick method. What a crazy name, but it is true. Now, this one here, we can simply return a true, very straightforward. This just makes sure, like if we return a true, that the apply effect tick method is even called every tick. And what we want to do with the slimy effect, it's very straightforward. If the player or basically any living entity, but it's not going to work for any of the other mobs because they don't have the AI to basically use this. But if the player walks in front of a wall, right, and walks inside of it or, you know, tries to walk like inside of it, I guess, then they get a horizontal collision. And with that horizontal collision, I want them to move up just like a spider. So you're going to be able to climb up horizontal surfaces just like a spider. And this is super straightforward. If P living entity dot horizontal collision, so this is just a Boolean that turns true. If the this P living entity that has this effect applied to it, if that has a horizontal collision, if that's the case, we're going to get the vector three. That's going to be the initial vector. So it's going to be P living entity dot get delta movement, right? So this is the actual movement that the that the entity has right now. So I'm going to get the climbing vector. This is going to be the vector that we're going to set it to after the fact. It's going to be a new vec3 where we're going to take the initial x. We're going to do a 0.2d over here for the y. So this is going to be a positive y direction. So we're going to move them upwards, right? The, so the player is going to move upwards. And then initial dot z over here in this case. And there we go. P living entity dot set delta movement. And we're going to set it to the climb vector. And we're going to scale this down a tiny bit. This is not strictly necessary over here, but you can do this. And lastly, we're going to return a true over here because everything has worked fine. And the implementation of this specific effect, that's actually it. This is literally all we need to do to add this specific effect here to our Minecraft mod, or rather to add the implementation and then to actually register it. Well, for that, we have the mod effects class. Now for this, we're going to need a deferred register. So that's going to be a public static final deferred register of type mob effect. In this case, this is going to be our mob underscore effects over here equal to a deferred register dot create and then forge registries dot mob underscore effects. And of course, tutorial mod dot mod ID over here as always, all of the code is available down below as well. So no worries there at all. And whether it's a deferred register, there is a public static void register method where we're going to call that particular register passing in that event bus. And then, of course, we need to call that down here as well. Mob mod effects this time dot register passing in the event bus. And now we can register our custom effect. And that once again might be more straightforward than you might think. Public static final, of course, a registry object of a type mob effect. And this is going to be our slimy underscore effect. And this is going to be equal to mob effects dot register. The name here is going to be slimy. And the second parameter is going to be a supplier of a new slimy effect. Passing in, first of all, the neutral mob effect category. Then we want a color. This color is specifically for the particles that spawn when you have this particular 
effect applied. And then after the first closing parenthesis, we're going to do a dot and we're going to add an attribute modifier over here. And we're going to modify attributes dot movement speed in this case with the name resource location from namespace and path. So Tora mod dot mod ID. I'm going to call this slimy. And then after the first closing parenthesis, a comma, the amount is negative 0.25F. And then the attribute is going to be add multiplied total. That is absolutely correct. So the idea here being that if you have the slimy effect added to your character, then there's going to be a new attribute modifier added to your character too. It's going to be called the slimy attribute modifier. And then the the attribute it's modifying is the movement speed and it's going to decrease it by 25 percent right that is basically what this does over here it's going to decrease your movement speed by 25 percent because if you're slimy it kind of stands to reason that you might be a little bit slower right i mean the the whole idea of the effect is obviously that you're so slimed up let's say that you can climb walls and i feel like at that point getting the movement speed reduced by 25 percent is actually not that bad Right, for a custom effect, you also need some assets. And the first asset, of course, is going to be the translation. The translation here is effect.tutorialmod.slimy, basically just translating to slimy so that it gets a proper name inside of the inventory when you see it. And then also we're going to need a custom icon for it. And that's going to go under textures, right click new directory called mob underscore effect. And inside of there, it's going to be the slimy.png. And for this one, it's actually quite interesting. The mob effects, for some reason, their PNGs are all 18 by 18. I don't know why that is the case. I don't know why they did this, but it simply is the case that for some reason, those are 18 by 18 instead of a 16 by 16 image. So just keep that in mind. If you're making your own, that is a, another thing to basically know. But, but of course, this particular PNG is also available down below as well as is all of the other code. But with all of that done, let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, I'm back in Minecraft, and let's just see. Of course, we have no way of adding the effect except for a command over here, but that's going to be fine. I'm going to fix that in the next tutorial, by the way. But just it's going to be the slimy effect over here, and let's just do an infinite right here, because why not? And you can see the icon shows up. The icon shows up. Absolutely fantastic. We are also slower, as you can see. And, haha, <laughs> let's go. I can climb up walls. I mean, come on, I don't know. That This is just so freaking cool. And that, to me is an awesome effect and hopefully a cool example of an effect added to Minecraft. Awesome. As per usual, all of the code is available down below, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom potion. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.